I started my career on Vine and I was the first person to reach a billion loops. <laughs> Lily, no! Say Lily. I transitioned from social media to music. People think that I have a perfect life. The public only sees what I want them to see. The truth is I've been diagnosed with OCD, Tourette's anxiety and depression. My OCD has a lot to do with me repeating myself. Sorry, let me do it again. Sorry, again. Sorry, let me do it again, sorry. If it doesn't sound right, it's not perfect in my head. You ask again and again and again. You touch multiple things, multiple times. One of the OCDs that I had was throwing the pencil. So I would throw the pencil and I'd have to grab it in a certain way, like, like this, and then it would, didn't feel right, so I would do this, do it again, pick it up, didn't feel right. There was one time, and I was in the shower, turning on and off the shower handle. I was in the shower around like 45 minutes. I have a huge obsession to go and find negative comments. On a typical photo, I would get like, let's say 8,000 comments, and I would look through the comments until I found a negative comment. I read those comments again and again until it feels right. That obviously makes you doubt yourself and not like yourself because you're obsessed with reading bad things about you. The OCD triggers the depression, the depression triggers the anxiety. When I'm very anxious, I twitch a lot uh, like this. Social media, I am very grateful because it's giving me the success that I have today. But honestly, is it worth how my mental health has turned out through the years? No. When I started, I was not taking my medication. I was not going to therapy. I, I'm gonna say, I thought I was too cool. And I was like, I don't need that anymore. Went to LA and my whole world went crashing down. Like uh, depression came, my OCD got worse. When your OCD gets worse, when your depression gets worse, anxiety, then you become tired. And then my t Tourette's came a little bit stronger. So I think that I would change that because I do love my life, right? But I do did make a lot of mistakes due to the fact that I didn't put my, myself first when it came to mental health and I was not stable. That's, and that has been so hard for me to like, you know, like recover all these years. So I think that just like focusing more on myself and not being so caught up with, oh my God, I'm famous, I'm rich. That is such a big mistake. Like mental health is first. For me, it doesn't define you. Like what you have doesn't define you. You're, that it makes you special. It's who you are. And that's something that Bailey, you've done. You made this super special. You made, you made uh, like something beautiful, beautiful out of this. And that's the best thing you can do, you know? Yeah. And I'm very proud of you for that. You know, that's so important for you to talk about. And, you know, that's Robin's message that she's been beating the drum on for decades. No matter what else happens, take care of yourself yes. first because you can't give away what you don't have. Yeah. If you don't take care of yourself, uh, you're going to wind up emotionally bankrupt. Yes. And then you've got nothing to give to yourself, to those you love, to anybody. And mm -hmm. your point is don't feel selfish about it, right? That's right. You can't feel guilty about taking care of yourself yes. because you're doing it for a, for a reason, for a purpose, mm -hmm. for, your, for your own well-being, for your life, so you live longer, so you can take care of others, so I've, you can take care of those you love. The, the last year... I've been more off social media. And people have noticed, where is she? You're not posting as much. And I've been the happiest. Your message is great. And that is, you, you would do it different. You would have taken care of yourself. You would have focused on your mental health. And Balin's message is saying, I'm not going to hide with this. I'm going to own it and put mm -hmm. it out there. And don't you guys think both are really giving a great, great message? So uh, I, 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 I thank you both. And I, 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 I can't. Thank you enough for your message and Valen for yours. And I, I, I hope you uh, follow these folks and, and heed the message because it's so important. You've inspired millions of people and don't hope that those haters are right because they're not. To all of you here at home, in the audience, in the virtual audience, don't feed the haters, just ignore them. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.